And we, uh, yeah, so coming off of four, uh, you know, I guess Kosh came out 300 feet or so before the line. And um, I, I, none of us knew that uh, you had to see the checkered flag, I guess. I, I, I think we just got locked in our heads of, you know, you take the leader, takes the white flag, next flag gets rigged. And uh, I guess that wasn't the case, but we all thought it. I mean, I thought it. Josh said, you know, we won. Jonathan got on the radio and said, congrats, you know. So I got to the backstretch, I took my internet down. And and I didn't, uh, and then Josh told me off before, he said the race, it, you know, they're saying that the race isn't over and uh, you need to end under green. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that, that caught all of us off guard. And, and uh, so it, it was kind of short lived panic mode in my spot of like, how the hell am I gonna get this window net back up? Because I mean, it takes almost takes two people to do it outside the car, let alone me, uh, my scrawny arms inside the car, sitting down, not being able to get a lot of leverage on it. And I was, I could get like millimeters away from latching it, uh, and I'd have to give up. My shoulder is going to be junk in the morning, uh, but I was able to get it latched finally uh, enough to where it was up and and sealed. So and and NASCAR uh, deemed it safe. So. Um, yeah, very, very odd, wild, um, but luckily it, it worked out for us that the best car ended up winning the race. So NASCAR did let you know or let you know that the window net was good and you're cleared to that final restart? They deemed it safe um, on the back stretch coming to the green because it was up and latched and I had two hands on the wheel and uh, that was your call. Yeah, I mean, I uh, had to switch mindsets up really quickly, kind of a few different mindsets from thinking you win the race to no, nope, you gotta go through another restart to, oh, my window net's down, how am I gonna get this up? And I mean, the whole caution I spent trying to get that thing lashed and up. And, um, you know, I, I didn't finally get it. You know, I finally got it on the front stretch with, with the chews and I had less than a lap to, uh, to do it. And if you had not gotten it latched, would you have made them black flag you or would you have felt like, man, I can't race like that and would you come down there um, voluntarily? I went away. And uh, I mean, I'd be upset too if I was in his position. I mean, you're on a second and, you know, the guy makes a mistake and puts the window net down and you expect, you know, it to be handed to you and, and the leader get black flagged. So um, I can understand his frustration uh, for sure. Um, but. Obviously, I'm not going to say I'm frustrated about it. I mean, it worked out for us. We had the best car all night. We were leading by three seconds before the last caution. So, uh, but I can understand where he's coming from. Um, but that's just the product of running second compared to winning. You know, he would be over the moon elated in my position if he won the race, and I'd be ticked off just like he would if I was second. So it just kind of depends on the spot car. So can't blame him.